Welcome back guys to the Java tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to learn about how to remove cells from the table, remove rows from the table. And uh, well I can only think of one technique to do this. If you know any more techniques then I'll really appreciate if you post it in the comment below so that others can know as well how this is done and you know it's nice to share things on the internet. Well, yeah, okay, so let's begin by dragging and dropping a button for removing. I'm just going to call it remove just to be extra. I don't need to do this, however, just, just to be extra. I'm going to double click it and we're going to go into the method. And this method will remove the selected cell from the table. So I'm not going to care about this anymore because this is a. Uh, error handling thing and you can do this and you're free and if you're extra time then you know but I'm gonna begin with into position this is where you wanna where you wanna I mean at, at which position do you wanna delete the row then j table one dot uh, get selected row and that's the position now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new temporary object has size one less than data and two columns yeah I hope that's easy okay I'll now there's a for loop for int minus less than uh, position minus plus and I'm not going to create another for loop because we know there's two columns so yeah I'm just going to have temp i zero equals data i Zero and another thing temp i zero sorry it's one there okay so the way this works is in the first for loop it loops until the position position yeah position position yeah uh, until the position of the selected row and it adds all of the elements so if you if you're if you're if you have selected the fifth row in effect it's the index four so in the loop it would loop until i is three i is less than four three so on, until i is three would copy everything and then we're going to have another for loop i less than uh sorry i is position i uh, plus one i less than data dot length and this is very important part because I minus one zero zero I minus one okay now the way this works is that uh, the until position four is going to copy everything, so it's going to copy everything from index zero to three. And then it's going to start from four plus one, position number five. Now, if if we do this, then position number four in temp will remain empty. So we have to have i minus one, which is position minus one, which is position, which is for for temp and in data since we, we want to ignore the fourth one is this going to be i and another reason to have i minus one here is that we have data dot length and temp is data dot length minus one so you can't have you know uh, the position out of the length because that's going to create array index out of bounds exception and uh, that's and that's an error and it's, it's bad to have errors in the program and yeah so well yeah so that's how it works and and then later we can have data i uh sorry data equals temp so we are reassigning temp to the data and then as we do it traditionally j table one dot set model uh new default table model data and it's very nice very sweet and very neat and uh, oh yeah and if you haven't noticed I have added the thing to the main method 
t so that it would come instantiate and you and you'd have to click the back but instantiate button again and again okay so okay yeah, and as you know i've stalled myself wrong but well yeah it doesn't matter this is the tutorial so well yeah i'm just gonna add another so row first one and then another one two two and then another one three three another one four four another one five five oh god okay okay so uh just you just ignore that and imagine there's a five in there and imagine i haven't made a mistake okay so i'm going to delete the row number two if i if i click delete everything should slide up and it did and it's there's an error because there's one uh zero zero in here see that's how we debug code <laughs> okay so let's this is start over month in uk and and anyway i, I had spelled myself wrong the last time so there's not, there's not good practice Two, three, three, four, four, five, five. We're gonna delete this. Slides up, bang, removed. Delete two, yeah. Delete four, yeah. Delete month, yeah. Delete three, five, yeah. Delete that, yeah. See, so that's how deletion works. It's it's a it's a bit uh, it's a bit complicated process. However, once you get hang of it, it's really easy. Yeah, and it's not much of a hassle anyway, because uh, that keeps your data array, and your global data array updated as well. So there's no problem in here. So I hope that was easy to understand. If you don't understand anything, feel free to comment down below in the post. You, and you, you can just post a question there, and I'll solve it for you. And I'll try to so and I'll try to solve it for you. <coughs> and I hope uh, it was easy to understand. And I'll see you guys later in our next tutorials. Till then, bye bye, and have a great one.